Hi, everyone. It's Dr. Kathy Miller from Indiana University. I hope you had a good time tuning in at ASCO. And I want to make sure you saw the biggest news in the breast cancer world that will definitely impact how we treat patients. Now, we've seen the power of PARP inhibitors in patients who have germline BRCA mutations who have metastatic disease. This last weekend, we saw the results of the first adjuvant trial. Now, this trial enrolled patients with germline BRCA mutations who had stage two or three HER2 negative disease. Now, this was an add-on design. Patients had completed all of their other standard therapy, other than perhaps ongoing hormone therapy for those that were ER positive, randomized to a lap rib or no a lap rib. And the results are striking. 42% reduction in the risk of recurrence in absolute terms, almost a 9% reduction in the risk of recurrence. With therapy that comes in pill form and for the majority of patients is generally well tolerated. There is some myelosuppression, particularly anemia. Some patients do need some dose modifications, but in terms of day-to-day -day toxicity that impacts patient functioning, very different than thinking about additional chemotherapy for a really dramatic improvement in outcome. Now, we do not yet have FDA approval. You can certainly bet that this data will be on its way to the FDA. And from the data we saw this weekend, it's hard to imagine how this drug would not get approved and become part of our standard treatment. Now, in the case of all good science, it opens a lot of other questions. Patients had to be really high risk to enroll in this trial. Not only stage two, but lymph nodes involved if you had an ER positive tumor, you had to have at least four lymph nodes involved. Triple negative tumors, only one lymph node involved. But for those who had neoadjuvant therapy, they still had to have residual disease. But what about those patients that are lower risk? Patients with ER positive disease who have two or three lymph nodes have a substantial risk of recurrence. Patients with triple negative disease who may have had primary surgery and are node negative, but have a two and three centimeter tumor. They have a substantial risk of, of recurrence. Would we be comfortable expanding this data to those patients? I'll tell you I certainly would, but we'll need to work through the details of the approval and the insurance authorizations to learn what's possible. It also raises questions about, should we be thinking about using these drugs earlier instead of a portion? of chemotherapy, particularly in some of those lower risk patients. I also predict we're going to see neoadjuvant trials looking at these drugs more carefully in these patients. And for me as a researcher, the best news here is that this trial got done. Think about this. This is not a common patient. Germline mutation, high risk, node positive disease. This trial took an international collaboration to get these results for us and our patients. So this sort of question with these rare patients, we can answer these questions. And when we come together, we're gonna to be able to answer a lot more. I'll be back with you again soon.